What's up guys, this is Alan and today's episode I am putting together a 10 by 14 foot uh, gazebo. This is the first time that I'm doing something like this. I have never done it before. I have not seen the instructions. I have not watched any videos. So I'm going to be telling you everything that I learned throughout the entire process. All the good, all the bad, all the little tips that I learned, all the mistakes that I made. I'm going to be telling you everything. So if you're thinking about assembling a gazebo just like this one or any other brand, well, you need to watch this video because all the mistakes that I made, I'm going to be saving you hours of labor. If you're interested in knowing how much I charge for this job, how I came up with the price, how I got the customer, and how long the project took, well, stick to the end thing. I will let you know all that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So the first thing you need to do, as you can see right now, we're taking everything out of the boxes. Uh, some of the questions that I saw in the reviews about this one uh, specifically was, can you actually go to the store and pick it up if you have a truck? Yes. This specific one, I think it was four boxes, and if you have a truck with a bed, you should be able to transport it without any issues. You're definitely going to need help, so because it's not light. Anyways, let's get started with the tips, and that is, you need to take everything out, lay it out, organize it. It's going to take you time. Whatever you see on the screen right now literally took me almost 30 minutes, and I still didn't do it good enough. If I could go back in time, I would have taken all those little pieces and you see that porch back there, the back patio, I would have put everything on that side organized. All the little pieces that you see are going to be labeled. This one specifically is going to have like a letter and a number. So one was like E1 through E12 or 19, I think. And then you have H1 all the way through like 12 or 15. And then you had Q uh, and uh, a few other uh, parts. But when you take everything out of the box, you got to organize it from put all the same letters together from small to big because it's going to save you a lot of time. I tried doing it. As you can see, everything is everywhere. But it was not, I did not sort it from small to big. And, and just having everything everywhere. Throughout the entire process, I can honestly say it took me at least an extra hour just walking around trying to find all the little parts that I needed to assemble this gazebo. Now, the way you start putting everything together is once you have everything out, organized as best as you can, put all the lag bolts together, all the washers together, all the nuts together, all the screws together, everything organized together so that way it will make your life easier throughout the entire process. Now, the way the instructions are for this gazebo specifically, it is in two parts. Part number one is going to be the posts. So that's what we're doing right now. We're getting all the joists, uh, the side uh, joists together and uh, you know screwing everything together the good thing about the instructions is for the most part I would say 95% of the entire process they were clear so it will tell you exactly what screws to use uh, and then all the bags are labeled they got numbers and letters and uh, as you read the instructions it will literally tell you exactly what washers to use what screws to use and if you actually look at the manual uh, that is going to be my main tip is follow the manual a hundred percent Take your time if in doubt Always look at the picture in the manual because it is exactly what it's supposed to look like a lot of these parts here guys They have holes everywhere So the holes are gonna be on the top so the holes are gonna be on the bottom So when you put in the stuff together try to lay it out exactly how the manual is showing it so that way you don't get confused and so, so that way you put everything together like it's supposed to. Another tip is do not tighten everything 100%. Just put it together, you know, tight enough to keep it together so that way when you put it up, it's not, you, you, you can actually make a few adjustments. Because the main thing about this job right here, this section is, you're going to be putting the frame up like you see right now, but that frame is not square. Once you have put all the corners together, you're going to have to square the frame, meaning you're going to have to move one post, move the other post, and so on, so that way you can get everything square. 
So do you need a helper for this project? I can honestly say it will make your life a lot easier. There are gonna be a few sections that are coming up that you technically can do by yourself, but this part specifically, it's going to be a lot easier if you have a helper. If you don't, you can probably manage it if you are handy and you have two ladders, but it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now this part right here is very important. Follow the instructions because a lot of these parts right here are where your roof panels are gonna go against. And a lot of these parts in here, they have holes that once the entire structure is put together and you are literally almost done and putting the panels up, if you have your boards upside down, it's gonna be a nightmare taking it down just because you did not pay attention and you had something upside down like it, or you know a, a different way that it was supposed to be. So as always, always follow the instructions. Look at the picture on the instructions and it will literally show where the holes are. Now this part right here, we're putting the roof panels up. The first part, guys, only took a few hours and I was, I was feeling good because I thought, man, this is gonna be an easy job. You know, one day we're gonna get done and then get paid and then easy money, right? No, guys, this freaking panels took forever. Yes, each individual panel, I can tell you, just putting the frame together and then putting the, uh, the roofing on it and all the screws and everything, I can say at least an hour and a half or so for each individual one. But anyways, this part right here is very important. And it's funny because I made a little mistake. There's a little gap right there. You see that what I'm measuring right there? I'm actually measuring inch and three quarters. But the funny thing is I had laid my instructions on the ground and that day it was windy. And there are two sections. One section is going to be for the long panels and then another section is going to be for the short panels. The long panels actually need three quarter inch gap right there. You see where the wood is? It needs three quarter inch in there. But I actually, I set it to inch and three quarters. And the funny thing is, when I laid my instructions down on the ground, it was windy, my pages literally flipped exactly to the section where the short panel shows inch and three quarters. I was on the long panel ins instruction part of it, but the wind flipped my pages exactly to the other section where it gave me the wrong measurement for this panel. So the long panels is going to be three quarter inch and the short panels is going to be uh, inch and three quarters. Um, and here I made that mistake and then thankfully I realized my mistake and that only cost me probably about you know 20 minutes extra of uh, work so that's the mistake number one um, so make sure you get your measurements good in here because they say if they don't line up you're gonna have issues putting it together once all the panels are up and if you make any mistakes here guys it's gonna take a lot of time to fix it you're not gonna break anything whatever mistakes you make all it's gonna take you is more time so take your time go slow read instructions one two times three times and uh, yes now this one is specifically here I don't think this one actually I define um, but I made a mistake you see my helper over there taking the plastic off the uh, uh, the roof panels yeah so he was just standing there he's a great helper but you know he needs to be told everything he, that he needs to do so and he's getting paid so you know I told him go do something productive take the plastic off the roof panels and that little thing that I told him to do cost me an hour extra of work. Why? Because when I was uh, putting the frame together, I didn't realize that the plastic that they took off, they had labels on top of the roof panels and not all the roof panels were the same size. So here I'm taking the panels out and I'm like, what, where are the numbers at? Because the manual will show you exactly where the panels are for each section and I'm like I'm looking at all the panels and I'm realizing that all of them are different sizes and then he took the plastic off and he didn't I guess realize that the plastic had the actual label on it and he didn't tell me so I'm like god damn so I just told him you know what let's just forget about it let's uh, let's frame the other uh, roof panels so here we're doing one of the short roof panels and here I made a mistake if you actually look right there in the middle where the arrow is my wood is overlapping okay I did not pay attention to that I thought that was the way it was supposed to be I did not look at the instructions right I was I, I, it was I was hot I mean it was freaking 100 degrees I was just trying to get it done 
and uh, yes that little mistake guys cost me hour and a half extra time towards the end because I did not pay attention and if you keep on watching you will see why or how that messed up my entire project towards the end but anyway so here we just put in the uh, frame together and like I said this is gonna be the longest part of the job it takes forever each panel will take you a long time I, I would say you know an hour to hour and a half because you gotta put the frame up a lot of the woods not gonna be straight but thankfully everything has holes okay and this is extremely important to follow the pre drill holes do not make your own you're gonna be tempted to actually drill new holes because well you're the master handyman and you've been doing this for the past 55 years and nobody can tell you what to do right but based on experience guys I just did this you need to follow the stupid holes that are pre drilled in the wood even if the wood is bowed because everything is just laid out the way it's supposed to be and if you start making your own holes towards the end your things are not gonna line up okay and then we made another mistake here because uh, on the actual uh, frame of the um, roof panels the uh, the cross members where the roof panels uh, screw on to uh, they have pre drill holes in there but I thought I was a master handyman I was gonna drill my own holes and then as I was putting the roof panels on and then it was time to actually screw them in place my wood was not straight so that's one thing that I didn't like about this thing right here is that well they don't give you the gap in between um, your uh, cross members where the actual holes to the roof panels are gonna drill into because the roof panels uh, the holes are pre-drilled so if those holes don't line up with those cross members you see right now obviously you know you're not gonna you're gonna see the holes from the bottom and you don't want that and then the reason I messed up is because I started drilling my own holes because the wood then uh, it was bowed so but if I have followed the pre-drill holes it would have been just fine but anyways here you know we just uh, assembling it and then we're actually throwing it together uh, what you see right now uh, this is actually day two and then here I just thought you know what this is gonna be a quick day we're just gonna put the roof panels up you know I would say max three hours and we are good to go but guess what guys no this took freaking hours and hours and it was just never ending and the parts are just like never ending when you put something together and then you look back on the ground and, and you see like freaking a million parts left over it just sucks guys so my recommendation is just to take it a step at a time and then just you know just do your best and then as long as you follow instructions do not skip anything you will be okay now guys you see that gap up there on the right top corner where the arrow is yeah that little mistake I made with made with the roof panels earlier earlier caused that gap up there and I could not get it together and I it, it took me about I would say 15 minutes or so just messing with that thing uh, trying to figure out what the hell is going on why that corner is messed up and then when I went on the other side I realized um, the bottom wood that I had screw onto the frame right there was not lined up so you know what we had to do we had to take everything down and then redo it that what you're seeing right there cost me an extra hour easily because I had to take it down I had to fix that wood in there I have to rescrew everything so yeah that little mistake guys do not make yourself take your time follow instructions everything is laid out on instructions now one quick thing about the instructions one board was I believe H12 well I could not find it guys it took me a while I could not find it when I was assembling the roof panels and then it was actually mislabeled and was H13 so I don't know if that's a specific to, the, to this gazebo that I got or if that's all of them but anyways here we put in all the roof uh, you know all the trim on everything you know it's coming on and then uh, if you actually look in there that uh, trim uh, that flashing actually goes right on top of the roof panels and if you actually use some common sense you know the water is gonna go right behind it it's gonna get trapped in there but you know as long as it looks good you know another engineer who designed this thing but that's just stupid but thankfully that is actually red cedar 
So it's waterproof and it's gonna last a lot longer than regular pine. And uh, yeah, so anyways, so we're coming to the end guys. Um, the main tip that I have for you is to follow the instructions, take your time. Is this an easy job? If you have uh, average IQ and common sense, it is an easy job, but it's a very long job. How long did it take, guys? Okay, so originally I scheduled this job to be just one day. For me, one day, it's about eight to 10 hours. Well, guess what? The first day we worked for eight and a half hours. Yes, eight and a half hours, guys. The second day, I thought it was gonna take three three hours just to finish up the roof panels, but it actually took six and a half hours. Yes, it took that long, guys. It took about, uh, well, 15 hours or so. That's a long time. And guess what, guys? We worked non-stop. We did not take any breaks. We didn't even go to the bathroom. I'm talking about 15 hours non-stop, guys, in the sun. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this job, so obviously it was going to take me a little longer. And I wasted a few hours. Uh, when I was assembling the roof panel, I could not find that H12. Uh, uh, and then I finally, I just measured the last board that I had left, and it was H13. How did I get this customer? This customer actually found me just through Google on my website and asked me how much. How did I come up with the price? Well, this one is sold through Sam's Club, Walmart. So I went to Walmart and they actually offer an option to get it assembled for you. They were charging $600 to get this assembled. Um, so I charged this customer $750. How did I come up with that price? Well, $600 is just too low for me. That was not worth it. I'd rather stay home and watch Netflix all day. Um, but yeah, so I charged her $750 because I knew after taxes she was going to be paying more than $600. And that is how much I charge. Now, I did have to get a helper for two days, guys. And, you know, that's $260 right there. So I really did not make that much money. But guess what? I learned. I have experience. And I know if I get another job like this, I can get it done a lot faster. Probably in just one single day. Now, if you want to save money and you don't want to hire a helper, you can do the roof panels yourself. That is going to be the longest part of the job. And then once you're ready to put everything up there, you can just go get some somebody real quick to help you out. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this was a lot of work. I, I was tired, okay? But you know what? It's doable. If I can do it, so can you. The tools that you need, not much, guys. But anyways, if you have any questions, as always, comment in the section below, like the video, and I will see you next time.